Hello everyone, today I'm going to read this book, The Bear. It's huge. Good night, silly. Here's Teddy. He'll guard you and keep you safe all night. He's a wise old bear, isn't he? Yes, Teddy knows everything. Good night, Mummy. A yawn. You're making me yawn too. Are you sleepy? Come to bed. Come on, get in. Oh, silly. You are hopeless. Do you know that? Now the other one. That is a good boy. Go on, go on, get in. There, at last. Now move over and make room for me. Oh, Bear, you're so warm. Won't Mummy be surprised when she finds us in bed together? Mummy, Mummy, Daddy, I was woken up by Bear. Oh, what a surprise. Was he a nice Bear? He licked my face with his tongue to wake me up. Did he? It was ever so rough. And he had great big black wet nostrils blowing hot air in my face. Tilly, that's not very nice. It's true, he wanted to be friendly. Well, mind your friendly back. You should see his teeth. They're all yellow and enormous, longer than my fingers. He's got real fangs. I saw them when he yawned. And his claws, they're all black and curved like hooks. He could easily tear me to bits and eat me. Tilly, for goodness sake. He wouldn't though, he really likes me, I can tell. I'll take him up a bit of bread and butter. Ah, oh, the wonderful world of a child's imagination. He's asleep now, I've covered him up with my duvet. Did he like the bread and butter? He just licked it up with one flick. You should see his tongue. It's all black and about a foot long. Oh, Tilly, can he stay, Mummy? Stay? Yes, of course, he can have a spare bedroom. No, I want him to sleep with me. Won't he roll over and squash you in the night? No. He'll just cuddle me. I won't need a duvet. He's the goodliest thing in the world. Oh, what about me? You've got no fur, Daddy. But you're quite nice. I do still like you a little bit. Oh, good. I know I can't compete with a bear. Now you will be all right, won't you, Tilly? Yes, Mummy. Daddy's in his workshop, but I try not to bother him too often. Yes, Mummy, don't fuss. I've got the bear to guard me. Oh, yes, of course. I really must dash. Can I get extra milk from the milkman for the bear? What? Oh, yes, of course. Get as much as you like. Bye-bye, Tilly. <clears throat> Be good. Bye-bye, Mummy. Will you make your bed, won't you? I can't. The bear is still in it. Oh, yes. Well, never mind then. Bye. Hello, young lady. Hello. Can I have some extra milk, please? I've got a bear staying. A bear, huh? You'll need a lot of extra milk for a bear. Is it a big bear? Enormous. Well, 20 pints then? I think one extra will be sufficient. Thank you. Bear! Bear! Where are you? Oh no! Don't come away! Look! Here's some water! Baby's having a bath. Now look what you've done! I'm all wet! Bear Blossom Bear, you'll smell like an angel! 
Keep still. Don't. You silly bear, you've soaked me again. I'll dry us in the kitchen. You do cause a lot of work, bear. I want you to stay with me forever and ever. Look, <coughs> I've got you some milk. Now come and sit up at the table properly. Sit up straight, don't slouch. Is it true, bears like honey? Try some. It's daddy's very own. My, you're quick. It's all gone. You are a greedy pig bear. Bear, bear, where are you? How can you disappear when you are so big? <gasps> oh no! What are you up to, Tilly? The pig has done a poo. I'm burning it. Oh, I see. Good girl. Oh, there you are at last. You are a very naughty bear making messes. Bad boy, don't. Now I've got to go and wash again. Don't disappear, wait here. Oh, you beast, you weed on the floor. Horrible, horrible. You are awful, I hate you. Don't you dare do it again. I'm going upstairs to have a long think about what to do with you, Bear. So wait here. Look, Bear, I've decided you and I have got to have a serious talk. Come and sit down properly. Now listen, you know, Mummy said you could have the spare bedroom. Well, She's never once seen you and she, she may change her mind when she finds out how big you are. And if you are going to do poos and whees all over the house, she'll never let you stay. Mummy and Daddy mustn't see you or they might put you out. Do you understand? Will you pay attention when I'm talking to you? Oh, you're hopeless. You're always yawning and falling asleep. Wake up! Wake up! Come with me, Bear. I'm going to put you in the spare bedroom. No, left here, stupid. Up the stairs you go. Get it up! Now you can hide in there, but remember, you're going to sleep with me. No, not in here. It's Mummy's and Daddy's bedroom. Bear, bear, you can't hide there. Oh, you silly bear, you'll get such a tick enough. Hello, Tilly. Like something to eat? Yes, please, I'm starving. The bear is a lot of work, Daddy. Is he settling in? Yes, he's fast asleep in your bed. Oh, good. Will he sleep in between me and Mummy? No, he's going to sleep with me. You mustn't go in, you'll wake him up. All right, I'll go about on tiptoe and we'll talk in whispers. Hello, Tilly. Oh, Mummy. Have you been all right? Has the bear been looking after you? Shh. What? Shh. He's asleep in our bed. Who is? The bear. Shh. Mustn't go in our bedroom. Shh. Oh, I see. Shh. We must whisper. Yes. Shh. He's so big and quiet, Mummy. He's the silentest thing I've ever known. He's like a great big white ghost. Is he? He sounds like a polar bear. I can't even hear him breathing except when he cuddles me. Then I can hear his heart beating. His heart goes ever so slow. It goes boom, ages and ages, boom, ages and ages, boom, like that. Well, I never. He's long way from home, isn't he? No, he's going to live here with me. His fur is terrifically thick, and when I bury my nose in it, it's ever so smelly too. 
Oh, dear. Really? No, it's a lovely smell, all dark and smoky. The bear is very good at hiding, Daddy. Sometimes I look all over the house and I can't find him. But you say he's enormous. He, he is, but he just seems to vanish like magic. He could be in his room now and you'd never know. <clears throat> Golly, just imagine a great big bear in here now. I feel quite frightened. Good night, darling. Good night, mummy. Good night, Teddy. There. Now, Tilly, whatever have you been up to in our bedroom? Oh, that wasn't me, mummy. That was the bear. Well, the bear should have tidied up then. I did take him off. I expect that's why he's hiding under the bed. He's sulking. Is he there now? Yes, of course he is. Shall I give him a good night kiss too? No, better not. I think he's asleep. Come on, bear. Mummy's gone. You can come to bed now. Careful! I love you, bear, with all my heart. Tilly, whatever's the matter? He's gone! He's gone! Who? The bear! He's gone! Never mind, Tilly, sweetheart. Don't cry, darling. Bears can't live in houses with people, can't, can't, can they, Teddy? That sort of thing only happens in storybooks. Look, Tilly, Teddy's nodding, and he knows all about bears, don't you, Teddy? Yes, Teddy knows everything.